Hello and very warm welcome. Thanks very much for staying with us. You're watching Beyond World is One with me, Raisha Segal, and this is News Point. On the show today, Israeli Defense Forces struck Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon as the tensions are rising between Israel and Lebanon. And this was a part of an overnight mission. We'll, of course, be tracking that in a lot more on News Point this morning. But first, a quick check on the headlines. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Israel has lost sovereignty in the northern part of its country due to the persistent cross-border attacks that Hezbollah has launched against Israel since October last year. Yemen's Houthis claim targeting four ships in the Red Arabian and Mediterranean seas as well as the Indian Ocean linked to the United States, the United Kingdom and Israel. Lufthansa Group halts night flights to and from Beirut for a month, moves its subsidiary Swiss Airlines night flights to daytime amid escalation of border tensions between Lebanon and Israel. The U.S. Supreme Court rules that Donald Trump cannot be prosecuted for actions that were within his constitutional power as the president. This in a landmark decision recognizing for the first time any form of presidential immunity from prosecution. U.S. President Joe Biden warns that the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on presidential immunity sets a dangerous precedent that Donald Trump would exploit if elected in November. Hurricane Beryl brings devastating winds and heavy rain to several Caribbean islands. Parts of Grenada take a direct hit. Indian market watchdog sends a showcase notice, show cause notice, pardon me, to Hindenburg over shorting Adani stocks. Hindenburg calls accusations nonsense. U.S. short seller claims SEBI is protecting influential people and institutions.